Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts for Demand Studios. Today we're going to show you how to remove an ABS wheel speed sensor. This device here is our sensor. There's an 8 millimeter bolt holding it to the spindle. I like to use an 8 millimeter 6 point socket as 6 points will grab the bolt much better. It's pretty small and we don't want to strip it. Next we're going to see if the sensor is free. It appears to be fairly stuck. We're going to use a tool to pry this sensor away from the spindle. A regular screwdriver should do the job fine. Get under the back side of the sensor and pry up on it, wiggling back and forth, slowly, being careful not to leave the sensor broken in the spindle as it'll be harder to remove. As it gets closer to the top, there's a locking ring and we'll need to use quite a bit of force to pull that sensor out of there. And we do that by rocking the sensor back and forth while pulling in an upward motion. The sensor is out of the spindle. The sensor is mounted to the strut. We're going to remove the brackets away from the strut so we can continue to, continue to remove the sensor. Now that the signal wire is removed from the strut, we can go up top and unplug the sensor. This is where the ABS speed signal wire comes up through the fender well. And we'll be unplugging it and plugging it back in right there. To install the new sensor, we're going to re reverse our procedure and attach the bracket to the strut. Then we'll be sure to feed our sensor wire in the correct position as we don't want it to come in contact with any of the braking system or the wheel that we're going to reattach. And that's how to install a wheel speed sensor on an ABS brake system. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts for Demand Studios.